It's about the future of Scotland. And I'm going to continue to focus on the, the issues that matter to people across Scotland and to, uh, as First Minister, as uh, leader of the SNP, to uh, lead that debate. Um, and in terms of a broad church, the, the campaign for independence is broad church and will be broad church. And actually, that is one of its great strengths because independence fundamentally is about democracy. And in any democracy, you have a difference of opinion and people decide in elections uh, which path they want the country to take. So that's a strength, uh, not in any way a weakness. Um, Adi. <laughs> Hi, um, oil and gas and energy has been touched on a little bit there. Um, I can't help notice, but a lot of the comparator countries, but Norway features very highly, and you, you know we've all, all already acknowledged that there's going to be a long run up to to meeting these comparator countries. Is it not tempting then to try and squeeze a little bit more out of the oil and gas before you rush into um, fulfilling the sort of net zero ambitions? I mean, you, you've disagreed on this in the past. Do you disagree still about the best way? to use the oil and gas industry as a way of funding, as it did in 2014, it was baked in, as a way of funding this new prospectus? Um, look, our position, joint position, is set out in the, the Butte House agreement, um, and we agree very strongly that the, the climate crisis is, is real and pressing and urgent, and not just in Scotland, but across the world. We have to accelerate the move away from fossil fuels. Happily for Scotland, and not every country can say this, there are massive economic advantages in that transition. We see that just in the Scotland auction, for example. So uh, we are in perhaps a, a more fortunate position than many countries are in making that transition, but it's got to be a fair one. Nobody is arguing that you, you switch off oil and gas uh, overnight or anything like that, but making that transition and planning for that transition in a fair and just way, um, I think is an essential part of what Scotland has to do, whether or not we become independent, although we uh, take uh, more powers with independence over some of these issues than we have right now. Yeah, I mean, I think very clearly the position of the Scottish government uh, has changed uh, significantly from 2014. I think some of that had already begun to happen before the, the Butte House Agreement uh, which brought the Greens into government. Some of it's happened subsequently. But the, the reality uh, of how fast a transition we need to make, uh, I think, is now well understood. You know, if, if the world had begun the kind of transition that needs to happen 20 or 30 years ago, it could have been done slowly and easily. The only reason that we're in a climate emergency uh, is that that early action uh, didn't happen all of those decades ago when the, uh, the scientific community around the world was first bringing the alarm bells. But we can make that change uh, in a fair as well as a fast way. And I think the, the fact that the comparator countries in this document include fossil fuel, fuel producers, as well as countries that are not fossil fuel producers and are more dependent on uh, an existing energy system, they include uh, you know, countries that have different types of economic model from you know, broadly social democratic, uh, left of center societies, as well as others that, that have an economic model that I personally wouldn't support and would criticize. This is a broad range of comparator countries. Not only, uh, there's not one, you know, kind of parallel Scotland in, in this report. There's a broad range of countries with different economic challenges, opportunities, contexts, uh, and uh, economic policies. Uh, and I think the fact that the, the comparison is so clear across the broad range of those countries really reinforces the point that we're making. It is a fact that we're going to be seeing rising oil and gas revenues because energy prices are as they are, you know, now and in the future. Um, the question should be, uh, and this would be a question if these were coming to an independent Scotland, is how we use them to uh, support and accelerate the climate transition and uh, ensure benefits for future generations. But right, we are running very short of time now. I've gone over uh, the time a lot, but uh, I'm looking to see if there are... Uh, yeah, OK, can I... Right. Very quick questions. Uh, I'll take this one here and Tom. <clears throat> uh, sorry, yes. Um. <laughs> Hi. Um, I just wanted to ask if you can outline for us the timeline of the um, publication of the subsequent papers that you have. I also wanted to ask about voter fatigue. As you've pointed out, Scots are never finished voting. So how are you going to try and ensure that high level of engagement within this to be Politician fatigue might be more of a, a real issue than voter fatigue. Um, well, I think 2014 tells us when this issue comes to be 
uh, decided on, you will have massive, uh, I think, interest, enthusiasm and, and voter turnout. Um, I'm not, we, literally, I'll be candid with you, we haven't uh, determined or decided yet the uh, precise order and sequencing and, and dates for the, the subsequent papers, uh, but they will, you know, come over the uh, the months and uh, fairly steadily um, over uh, the latter part of this year. And lastly, Tom. Thank you, First Minister. Um, you've described today as a starting point for the independence campaign. Um, the question in today will give an indication that the whopping great elephant in the room is the legality of a future referendum. Um, can I explain, or can you explain, sorry, why you've decided to open this push for independence with this comparison document rather than setting out why you think, how, how and why you think it's legal? Well, I think I've said uh, today on in my opening remarks and in response to several questions what I intend to do there, and I've, I've been very clear about the, the way in which I, I intend to, to set uh, these things out. But Scotland's going to have its choice on independence, you know, not even Boris Johnson, uh, probably especially not Boris Johnson actually, can stand ultimately in the way of democracy. So Scotland's going to get its opportunity uh, to cast its, its verdict on independence. So uh, I think it is the right time um, and important to ensure that when that choice comes, it is an informed choice that we start to lay out as we're doing today, the substantive case. Uh, thank you all very much indeed. Uh, I think I've addressed that issue on many, I think I've addressed the issue of what I'm going to do before recess many times. Uh, well, I can assure you I have. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, everyone. Okay, sorry about... Um... The audio on that, folks. Um, hopefully, you can hear me. I've been mucking about with my uh, all my audio. Yeah, okay, you can hear me, right? So, yeah, had a had a a few problems there. Obviously, we uh, used uh, a new service called Streamyard to restream it, and um, yeah, how I thought it would work, I've got didn't work, and uh, I tried another thing at the end here. And it did work. So I now know how to do it. Restreaming via StreamYard. So it's all a learning curve. That's the first time I attempted it. I didn't have a, a, a chance to test it. We didn't find out about this event to yesterday. And we didn't actually find out where it was being streamed to till about five minutes before it actually started. So it was um, quite, quite, a tough, quite a tough one. But I'm very happy. Right, that we've um, worked out how to do this now. So, you know, going forward, all, all, all good. Right, so if, um, we've just started a, a TikTok account and we need about, I think it's 800 or 1,000 people, um, followers on it before we can actually live stream. So if you're on TikTok, please do, do follow us, right? You can find us in the live stream as our Twitter hand, okay. And uh, we'll be back uh, with um, more stuff. Uh, so, you know, just check out our website, right? Lots of stuff coming up. Okay, folks, uh, bye for now.